Hello my lovelies, how are you all today? Welcome back to my new video. This is a colour block video and it is a outright copy of one of the amazing Bethany Stockell's uh, designs. She is a good friend of mine and she's one of my biggest fans. She's so sweet, she's always there for me when I need her. So I thought I'd give this one a go. It was really hard, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, I'm coming in on this middle finger with Jennifer by Glam and Glitz and it is just the most gorgeous colour. Um, I bought it as soon as I seen Bethany's design, I thought oh my god it's beautiful. So yeah, and it's really lovely to work with as well. Um, and I'm coming in on this ring finger with Cherry Blossom Blush and just making my smile line and my extended nail bed. I was actually quite happy with this one which you know is like a miracle for me so yeah just patting it down and nudging it about until i am relatively happy <clears throat> sorry about that so today i'm using pro impressions um competition tips in clear uh, they are my new favorites for coffin I just adore them, they're gorgeous. So head over there and get some of them if you are looking for the perfect tip for coffin. Because they really are. They're already in like a coffin shape, so you just have to like file them a little bit to shape. Um, I'll do a video and I'll show you. So that's that done. And then I'm coming in on this pinky with Jennifer again. Full finger. So I'm just popping that bead down a little bit away from the cuticle and then nudging it up to the cuticle and the sidewall so because obviously it's a, it's quite a bright color and quite a dark color at the same time so it stains really easily you'll see a couple of times in the video um i end up getting some staining but not too bad not like nothing that i couldn't sort out And then I'm going to come in over the top of that with Vamp in an S shape, swoosh, I love the word swoosh, <laughs> god I'm ravaged, um, yes just like a, a swooshy S shape, it looks so pretty, that glitter is insane, it's a shard one again. And as you probably guessed from all my other videos, I love the shard glitters. So I'm coming in now with my Ink London file and I'm just straightening those edges up. Making them super straight. And then I'm coming in with a gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous colour, called Ashes of Roses, I think it's called. Um, again, obviously I'll put it all in the description box. Give me like 48 hours to update the description box because um, sometimes I'll put a video up and somebody's asking me within 20 minutes of me putting it up. Um, it's quite time consuming, so just um, bear with me. I, w I aim to have the description box all updated within 48 hours. So just the same, making that lovely V shape with that colour. Just come in with as many beads as you need until it's like the right height and it's all filled in lovely. So this finger again is just a full finger of Jennifer because it's going to have a Swarovski crystal trail on it. I just love this colour, it's so beautiful to work with. Um, I do just want to say, um, as you probably know from if you watch my other videos, um, I love the company Diamond Glitters. I use them a lot um, for the glitters and the crystals and all sorts of stuff, I think they're brilliant. Um, well, the lovely Danielle from Diamond Glitters I was talking to her the other night, she has given me a discount code for all my subscribers and my watchers. 
Um, so if you head over to Diamond Glitters, I will leave a link in the description box. Um, and at the end, when at the checkout, if you just type in Stacey Five, that's S T A C E Y Five, then you'll get five percent discount off, which is brilliant. That's lovely of her. So yeah, head on over because her, honestly, her glitters are amazing. She has so so many and her crystals are to die for. So head on over and check it out. So I'm gonna come in with this and refine this smile line. Make sure it's beautiful. Get right up into those wings. Make sure it's nice and sharp and beautiful. Nothing nicer than a gorgeous smile line. Then I'm just coming over the top to uh, make it look all nice and smooth. It's just something I like to do. It's, <laughs> there's no real reason for it because you file at the end anyway, but I don't know. I just like to do it. I think at this point me and my client were just quickly looking at the picture, Beth's picture, to make sure that I was doing it right because <laughs> she wanted it exactly the same pretty much so I was just double checking if um, Beth had put the vamp around the smile line and she had so that's what we went with so come in with Jennifer, bring that right up into those wings and then cover the whole tip with it, careful not to get it on the nail bed area like I just did then. Make sure you wipe it off if you do. And just bring it right up like that, just nudge, 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 nudge. Obviously as you can see there, I got it on a finger again, but it's so hard not to when you're trying to get up into deep smile lines like that. Making sure it's um, not too sheer on the tip there. And then there's that vamp. I think this is called vamp. <laughs> I hope it is because I'm going to feel a real idiot if it's not. Um, Obviously, I will triple check that before I put it in the description box. So with these shard type glitters, if you're going to use them around a, sm a smile line, just use small bits at a time and nudge them exactly where you want them because they're easily nudgeable to get them where you want them to be. Um, but you need to like spread them out so they're not all on top of each other. And that's the best effect, I think. They are beautiful. I think I have nearly every shard Glam and Glitz one now. I'm a bit obsessed. I just got a new one yesterday. Uh, a Night in Paris, I think it's called. I'm sure I'll be using it at some point. It is gorgeous. So I'm just coming in again and filing those edges nice and straight. And then I decided to file over the top just to see how straight my lines were. Because <laughs> I'm so impatient. <laughs> massively impatient I should have just left it can't help myself when it comes to color blocking so I just keep coming in until I'm happy I think maybe this is where some people go wrong with color blocking sometimes it can take quite a while to get those really straight edges you just got to keep persisting with it keep dusting off um, the dust and making sure that it's lovely and straight. Um, so this is a Moira UK colour um, called Dance, I think it's called, but again I will double check. Um, 
and it is the most beautiful i mean the moira colors are insane they are so pigmented so and the most of them have got this like underlying shimmer to them and they're just honestly some of them are the prettiest colors i've ever seen in my life um i do find that when i was using it for the color blocking just maybe just this particular color i'm not sure it was quite sticky and um, when it was really wet i don't know if i need to work a bit drier with it or I don't, i'm not sure um but i've only ever used the moira colors as uh, like a full coverage and I've always used it like a paint because they are design powders um so this was my first time using it like a bit thicker so but once it started to to set a little bit it was really easy to mold it was just that first initial placing it down it kept sticking to my brush um but other than that I cannot recommend them enough the colors are stunning um and then I just did a marble one on this one because I couldn't see in the picture what Beth had done. Um, so I just came in with blue all over, obviously Jennifer, blue. And just covered the whole nail. She's so beautiful. She's one of my favourites now, I think. And then I'm just washing over with some clear so it's nice and wet. And then I'm coming in with that, I think that was Dance again. No, it wasn't. That first one was Iris, which is another blue from um, Moira UK. And then the second one was Dance. And then uh, it was Ash Ashes of Roses again. And then I just keep coming in with those colors until I'm happy. The colours I used in this set were just so vibrant and beautiful. Um, they were just a, a, an absolute pleasure to work with. So I'm coming in again with some of that glitter. It's just gorgeous. Right, so that's now dry. So I'm coming in with my file again and filing it super straight nah, I'm not happy with that <laughs> So now I'm coming back in with Jennifer and creating like um, a stripe across. Just bob it on, nudge it into place and then try and straighten the edges up. If you use your brush to try and create the lines as straight as you can, then it's much, much less filing to, to create those really sharp lines. Again, I'm using my Harvey's brush still completely in love with it so excited about the competition i think i might shed a little tear if i don't win <laughs> that brush set is gorgeous i'll buy it no matter what anyway it's just beautiful but it would be really nice to win it <laughs> so yeah just coming in again and filing it nice and crisp it's very repetitive, is colour blocking, so if you are a bit bored, you can skip to the good bits. <laughs> and now I'm going to come in with, I think it was Marilyn, which is a Glam and Glitz colour. It's like a jet black, no shimmer to it, just your bog standard black. And creating another stripe, just like I did before. at this point where the nail starts to look really ugly and if your client has never had colour blocking before they start to look at you like what are you doing to my nails 
<laughs> and you sometimes you have to be like, trust me, I promise it will look beautiful in the end. Everyone's wanting colour blocking at the minute. I've got a lovely lady uh, coming on Monday for some colour blocking. And another one of my clients wants colour blocking. Oh, do they realise how hard this is? <laughs> So yeah, just pat, pat and pull, pull till it's ready. And now it's dry. Obviously, you know, I've cut these videos <laughs> so that um, you don't have to wait for it to dry. And then I'm coming in and filing it again. Don't worry guys, we're nearly at the end now of the colour blocking. Just filing it super straight. I think this set has got to be one of the um, more difficult sets that I've ever done. Um, the rest of the nails are absolutely fine, but this this was um, was difficult. This colour is the gorgeous iris. Um, I seen Beth had done Sonia's nails for the awards that she recently won Nail Talk Off of the Year and I seen this colour on her nails and I just fell in love. Um, I just absolutely adore it. This is the first time I've actually used it but I'm hoping to do a set on myself with this colour because I love it that much. Now this bit is quite hard to file. Um, because obviously there's just a tiny little space. So you really, really, really have to work hard with your brush. I mean, I did come in with the file. I don't think I recorded that bit. Um, I did come in with the file and tried my very best. As you can see there, I think I've just filed it. Um, but it's you can't really get the super straight edge like you can get on the others. So this one again is Dance. I think, I think that's what it's called. Um, they do also have... <clears throat> numbers so they have a number and a name so i'll put the number and the name in the description box and that's that done and i forgot to file i forgot to record me filing the other hand so i'm showing you this hand being filed quickly so obviously i've done this very thinly um so i will be coming over the top of these color block nails and i will a cap them. Uh, a few people have asked me where I got my e-file from. Um, it is from Femme Fatale and I absolutely love it. It is amazing and such good quality for the price. Um, I think it's $89.99. Bargain. I'll leave a link. Go check it out. So they're all finished and filed now and it's crystal time. So I've just recently um, found a new crystal place uh, it's called angel crystals i think i think they're a fairly new company but honestly i have never seen crystals like them they're a swarovski crystal stockist um specialist or something um and beth is a brand ambassador for them and she'd obviously posted a few pictures and a link and i just completely fell in love i went on and they have just every shape, every colour, they have these little cubes where you like move them about and they shift colour. They have flowers and butterflies and you name it, they've got it. Um, so I went a bit wild and spent quite a lot of money on crystals. And then they arrived and they come in these cute little pots. Not the bags like they normally do, they come in these uh, the company's pots. Um, which I was just like, oh my god, that is amazing. So then I went online and bought more. So I've <laughs> spent so much money. So I was thinking about doing a little video to show you them all. Um, let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see them all. I think I've got like probably about 25 different ones that I've ordered because my new ones came today. Um, so if you want to see, let me know and I will do a little video for you. 
So yeah, I'm just applying them with my Chiara Sky uh, Dip Base Resin Glue. And I use my tweezers for that big stone, that big um, blue one. And I applied that on top of some acrylic because obviously it's quite big. Um, and then I'm just doing a little trail with blue and, I don't know the names of them, but like um, a blue and a dark pink. Then I'm going to come round that stone because it is a pointed back one. And just put some stones all the way around it so that she don't catch it or anything. Just sort of tuck them underneath. That's what I do so that the butted right up. Oh my God, how beautiful does that look? That is insane. So this is my Kiara Sky No White Top Coat, fresh bottle. I love a fresh bottle of top coat. It's like the best feeling. And I'm now top coating these absolute beauties. I think you can see in the video, they don't look as nice in the picture because it was quite late when we finished and she was in a rush to get a lift home so I didn't manage to get like a decent picture but um, you can see better in the video how beautiful they really were. So I'm just going to come brown these crystals. I should have really used a small nail art brush but as I said she was in a rush so I was just trying to get it finished. She's one of my really good friends bless her. So rub it off there because I just caught the crystal. Always go round, never on top, as I always say. Oh, look at that marble nail. It's just to die for. So we are now on the next hand. Um, I It's exactly the same, except instead of using the big blue crystal, I use a, a pink one. Again, they are all from angel crystals um, I will leave a link in the description they are honestly the best crystal place I have ever seen and I love Swarovskis I've been using them for years so just bobbing that acrylic there <clears throat> and shaping it a little bit because it's a, a long rectangle one that we're putting on as you can see there how amazing is that colour? Just nudging it about a little bit. And then again, I'm gonna come all the way around that and put my flat back crystals up to it. I'm really trying hard to get my uh, my crystal game on. <laughs> Just the Christmas crystal placement. Um, it's quite hard. It's a lot harder than you think um, to make them look really pretty. Annabelle does it effortlessly. She's like the crystal queen. So yeah, as you can see, I put crystals all around that big crystal, and then I'm just trailing them down the nail. So we're very nearly at the end of the video guys. I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that supported me <clears throat> and left me all the lovely messages that you do. I really, really appreciate it. I'm hugely surprised by the amount of subscribers I've got, um, but you're all really lovely. So I'm going to say bye and I'll see you very soon again. Bye.